Hey everybody, what is up? I am the Mac Mage, and in this video we are going to be learning how to completely customize the home screen window of Kodi. So if you want to have your own background picture and your favorite video program and music shortcuts greet you when you open up your Kodi, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So if you have any particular photos that you have in your own photo library that you would like, say like a pet trick or a family photo, something that you would like to um, have in your background, go ahead and put that in your desktop because that will be the easiest place to find it when we go looking for it later. If not, if you want to use something from the internet, I'll show you how to do that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Chrome. Now what I've done is previously searched for what I would like to use and I'm going to use Huskies. So um, I'm just going to double click or um, bring up the control menu. We're going to save the image as. And then I'm just going to type in... Um, Cody background, Cody BG, and click enter, saving that to my desktop. So we can close out of that. Now, something to note, if you are doing this and you're not seeing your file come up, um, one of the reasons is probably because it's not a supported um, file. So right here, this is a JPEG. I'm going to change this to JPG because for whatever reason, it's not supporting anything else right now uh, for background photos. So what I'm going to do is simply click on this one time and then I'm going to take the E out. And that's all you have to do. It'll show up just fine now. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go to Kodi and then we're going to go into the systems panel and click down to settings. We're going to click on appearance. Skins, we're going to tap the right arrow and come into the menu and click on settings. Now we're going to go down to background options and right arrow into that menu. Now we're going to click on enable custom background with the enter key. Highlight that. Now we're going to scroll down one arrow to the background path and click enter. Now this is going to bring you to where your background may be saved. So I just saved it on the desktop. It's simple and easy. And then we're just going to click on the image. And then when I get back to the home screen, we will have our photo. So there you have it. So now let's say I want to add shortcuts so that I can get to my favorite video add-ons. What we're going to do again is go back to the systems menu and click on settings once again. Go back into appearance. Click on skins um, with the right arrow and scroll down to settings again. And then this time we're going to go into add on shortcuts. And we're going to click on that right arrow into that. So now within every um, genre you can add sub menus for your add-ons. So for video let's just click here and it'll bring up all of your video add-ons. So of course my first choice is going to be pair channel. Click again and then I'm going to put in And do Exodus. And go do YouTube. Vidal. And Ice Films. Okay? Now, um, for music, same thing. Click on music and it'll have different add-ons you can add in the music section. If you don't see anything that you want in music, um, you can always of course go get um, more add-ons and I'll show you how to do that right now. So in the last video we talked about 
a little bit about how to get add-ons, but I'm going to show you how to get more music and um, program add-ons just to be safe in, in case you guys um, may have needed a little more help from the last video. So in order to get more add-ons, you just want to scroll to the kind of add-on you want. So whether it's um, video add-ons or music add-ons or program add-ons. In this case, we're going to grab some more music add-ons. So just click on music, right arrow down to bring the submenu up and then enter to go into your get more add-ons section and click on get more. It's always going to look like a puzzle piece. So once you come here you're going to see a bunch of other different types of add-ons you can add to your music collection. For example, let's say that we want to get a uh, Vivo. We're just going to click on it with the enter button and then we're going to click on install and that's pretty much all that there is to it. Now, let's say um, that you've installed a, a an add-on and it doesn't seem to be working. One thing that you should know is that there are some instances where a developer has decided that they do not want to develop their product for Kodi anymore. They don't take it out of Kodi. Now, when we go to different builds of the Kodi um, uh, software, different versions, they might remove it and it will no longer show up, but um, for the most part it will just stay broken on your Kodi. And a good example of this would be that little icon in my music section that does not want to come up or even be clicked on, which is Music Box. It kind of skips over from um, digitally imported to um, Pandora because it just won't work. Now, it might just be that the um, shortcut path for whatever reason hasn't been worked out yet and it may fix itself in a future build but what you can do is come into the add-ons section and you will see all of your add-ons here so what we can do is go to music box and attempt to play it and if it just doesn't come up if nothing comes up just click OK and I'm gonna show you um, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that item that does not play. So again, go into your add-ons from music or wherever your add-on is broken at. Go back. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click. Um, you're going to need the, the control uh, menu to come up. So what you're going to do is get your mouse and double click with two fingers or click one time with two fingers and that'll bring up the control menu you want to go to add on information and from in here is where you can uninstall things that are broken and don't appear to be working anymore so just click on that click yes and now it is gone so when we go to the home screen it is not going to be gone in our shortcuts so we actually need to go into systems and we need to get rid of it so we're just going to replace it with something else that will work better let's try Groove Shark and there we go And there you have it. So if you guys have any questions or if you need any more help with Cody, I'm going to be doing a couple more Cody videos as I think of them. But if you have any more questions on what we've covered so far, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section or send me an email to macmage at gmail.com. Hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please share, like, and of course, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.